In this week's Climate Friday newsletter, we're going to talk about lightning safety tips. Now, lightning safety is something that the WTOL 11 weather team mentions frequently, but it is worth reiterating, especially in light of earlier this week's events. Monday evening, severe storms raced through northwest Ohio and southeastern Michigan, and sadly, the impacts of strong gusty winds as well as lightning caused two fatalities in the region. And in this edition of Climate Friday, we'll break down lightning safety and tips that you and your family can use to to stay safe and informed during thunderstorms. First of all, how common are lightning deaths? Well, about 10% of lightning strikes are fatal, and even those which are not can be very detrimental and cause long-term health ramifications for the rest of your life. In the United States, in a typical year, lightning causes 43 deaths, and that is on average. Some years are much higher than that, other years lower, depending on the propensity and frequency of thunderstorms. Of course, many of those occur in areas you'd suspect down in the Gulf Coast, as well as in the high plains where thunderstorms are more common. That being said, the Midwest still sees its fair share of severe thunderstorms and even non severe thunderstorms. Any thunderstorm with lightning can be deadly and cause long term injury or death. So let's break down a few more statistics, how common they are and who they primarily impact. 85% of lightning strike victims are male. Maybe that's surprising to you. Maybe it's not a big reason for that has to do with behavioral psychology. Mostly, for instance, men tend to be a little bit more risk taking in their behaviors and also engage in certain sports and recreational activities that are more predisposed to lightning strikes. That being said, anyone is subject to lightning injuries if you are out and about during a thunderstorm. Here are a few of the activities and the sporting events that are most frequently impacted by lightning strikes. When you think of the sport that primarily comes to mind, golf is one that is at the top of the list. But contrary to popular belief, golf is not the most dangerous activity as far as lightning goes. Taking the cake is fishing and boating as those out in the open water can be detrimental. When the lightning strikes and there's nowhere to hide, you are going to be the first object that that lightning hits. Also, soccer, anywhere that you are out in open field without any trees nearby, that is not a good situation to be in during a thunderstorm. And of course, boating, we always advise in that boater's forecast, check radar on the WTOL 11 weather app. That can be potentially life-saving if you're either fishing or boating anywhere out on the water during a thunderstorm. Last but not least, golf is another sport that is predominantly risky, especially when you're out in the fairway and there aren't any trees nearby. Lightning generally strikes the tallest object, and oftentimes that can be the golfer. Here are a few uh, work-related, lightning-related um, risks that we often think about, not just in terms of recreation, but also in terms of what your job is. Construction workers who are out in the open are at high risk, so we advise construction workers also check radar on the weather app. Farmers who are out in the farm fields, that can be dangerous as well, although most of the local farmers, of course, are very privy to the latest weather information. Tourism and fishing, anything that is out on the water, those um, areas can be the most dangerous during thunderstorms. So a few more lightning safety tips. I'm going to step off screen to show you a few tips to stay safe and possibly save your life during a thunderstorm. The first question you need to ask yourself is, can you hear thunder? If you can, then lightning is close enough to strike you. And we always repeat this when thunder roars go indoors. If you can hear thunder, then lightning is likely nearby. Here's tip number two. The first flash of lightning move to shelter immediately. Whether it is a cloud to ground lightning strike or whether the cloud just lights up, that would be a cloud to cloud lightning strike. When you see that first flash, you need to move inside immediately. Although hopefully you don't see any lightning at all because you respond to the sound of thunder or seeing lightning on our WTOL 11 weather app. A few more tips for thunderstorms. Front porch viewing. Perhaps you are someone who finds the weather fascinating and you find it beautiful and love watching it. Well, porches and windows offer minimal protection from thunderstorms, and it is recommended that you get away from doors and windows. Even if you are the type that likes to sit out on the porch, relax and watch the thunderstorms roll in, that is not recommended as porches provide limited protection. Get indoors, away from doors and windows, and of course, the lower levels of your house, such as the basement, those are the safest during thunderstorms and especially during tornadoes. Last but not least, a more rare occurrence is known as the bolt from the blue. Occasionally, lightning will strike 
outside of the realm of a thunderstorm. So you may see rain on radar and the actual lightning strike is not going to be immediately in the vicinity of the thunderstorm. That's a little less common, but it is something we want to alert you about. Wait 30 minutes until the last strike or rumble of thunder for the all clear. If you do hear the bolt from the blue once again, get indoors and it stays to be weather alert that will pay off, especially if you stay tuned to the forecast to avoid it altogether. In light of earlier this week's events with those severe thunderstorms and the two lightning related fatalities, I wanted to update you and provide a few of those tips to keep you and your family safe and informed during thunderstorms. Also worth noting that it's not just severe thunderstorms. It's not just tornado warnings. Any thunderstorm, even just a run of the mill thunderstorm with a couple lightning strikes, that can be enough to be devastating, if not deadly. To subscribe to WTOL's Climate Friday newsletter, head to WTOL.com slash email. We share the latest, not just on severe weather, but also on how climate change can impact you, your family, your finances, and your health. We'll have more tips coming up next week.